Welcome to a brand new Fat and Funny and probably one of the very few Fat and Funnies that you've had for 2021. So I want to say a huge thank you for your patience, both uh, London and I, this black blob of awesomeness, uh, my co-hosts clearly uh, appreciate the patience, the understanding in this crazy time. So I promised you guys an update and this is the first of hopefully many videos. Um, so of course, COVID. The big C. No, that's a that's terrible. Hang on. Take that all over again. Another minute. Welcome to a brand new fat and funny. It has been a while. Uh, welcome to this video, uh, co-hosted by the ever sweet and cute London. Please look at the camera. You got face. Um, who will probably make it into quite a few videos. Uh, I hope you enjoy the new. Uh, backdrop and setup. I decided to try something a little different. That wasn't me sitting in front of my computer. Um, instead, I'm sitting in front of my phone. Um, yeah, so to update you. So COVID happened. Um, why am I doing so many ums? Dude, you're groping me on camera. What is this? Time. Welcome to a brand new fat and funny. Uh, greetings from me. Why am I doing all oh, right away? Welcome to a brand new fat and funny. Uh, I now have a co-host. I'd like you all to meet London or the back of London, uh, who is very needy and decides he wants to be part of everything. So I am here to give you an update and I know I have not posted much in 2021. Go back to sleep, London. <laughs> I've not posted much in 2021, but like most of you, I've been reeling, uh, and dealing with this ever fun pandemic that has, uh, pretty much shaped our lives over the last 18 to 19 months. So for that reason, I, uh, as you can see, may have gotten back to some of my old habits, like I'm sure uh, some people or most of you guys have. So I think at the beginning of the pandemic, when people were kind of forced to stay home, one of two things came of it, right? Either people uh, worked out like mad at home and got shredded, or others uh, compensated with alcohol and food. I can tell you I was in the second category. Uh, so pre-COVID, I had uh, officially hit the beautiful um, 40 pounds lost. And thanks to um, dealing with a pandemic, I um, gained about 30, 35 pounds back. So uh, I can tell you that that was very demoralizing and very difficult. Um, and I kind of spiraled a little bit, I can say. Uh, also working from home, which was something I absolutely never thought I would do. Uh, especially when part of being, you know, upright and busy and moving from space to face was uh, public transportation, getting myself to and from work. So it helped keep me moving. And uh, instead, my big commute was from the uh, third floor to the basement of my house. So um, that was certainly a, a tough, a tough one for me. Uh, but a few months ago, I realized that I had um, two runs coming, which was Mud Girl and Mud Hero. Um, both of which uh, I have, one has been delayed till next year because of the Delta variant and um, one uh, I've chosen to run only next year, just simply because of everything going on. So I decided to train as if those runs were still happening. So over the last two months, I've gotten back into being at the gym consistently on a daily basis. Um, thanks to some great Fitbit competitions uh, that have almost killed me, Alisa and Rob, Anthony, I'm looking at you three. I've started to get back into things, so down about five, seven-ish pounds, uh, feeling amazing. Um, weight's not going as quickly as I'd like this time around. I think what gave me the hardest time to get back into this was that the first time I, I was able to lose that much weight, and I've never lost that much weight in my entire life, I was in a position that I was on my own. I was away for work. I didn't have dogs or anything to deal with, and then what I ended up doing uh, was solely focused on myself. With reality right now, I can say that that's not a feasibility. I can't just detach from the world and go seclude myself in a um, cold wintery town, <coughs> Winnipeg, and uh, spend, uh, give or take a month, focusing on myself to build the new habits to then come home and be able to apply them. So, I've had no choice but to figure this out myself and I can have I can say complete honesty working from home has helped three hours less of commuting time as much as it means I was I'm not moving as much taking the bus the subway or the the train 
it's allowed me to have a lot more free time where I can go to the gym. So I uh, challenge myself to at least 15 to 20 kilometers of movement a day, which means uh, walks with the fuzzy children, uh, going to the gym in the morning, and uh, as well uh, taking walks at lunch or uh, and or after work, and sometimes even before bed. The dogs are going to be the fittest they've ever been. So my goal is to keep moving whenever I can. Uh, and I, I've drastically changed the way I eat back to similar to what I was eating before. Um, which is why I also feel like I live in a uh, t-shirt and shorts despite the weather. Um, I'm always prepared to go work out. So uh, eating wise, I've finally found some food that makes me happy uh, for my lunches. Back to protein shakes for breakfast. Uh, drastically cut alcohol. Um, I'm a big gin fan and uh, I, was, I was putting away far more gin and tonics than I'd like to admit uh, in full transparency probably between uh, a Thursday to a Sunday night I could clear uh, completely clear off a bottle of gin so I'm not too proud of that it's not something that you want to write to mom about but I digress on that front uh, I've decided I'd go with these little pre-mixed cocktails and what I appreciate is that I can just put one over ice and it's 100 calories and if I do want to drink that that can be my drink for the whole evening I am too old for uh, excessive benders, just gonna say. So yeah, that's essentially it. I've gone back to eating well, uh, to exercising consistently, um, little dip uh, where I wasn't feeding myself enough and because of that, I was exhausted. So I'm just, I'm still, I'm gonna say this, I'm very much still learning into, in regards to what works for me, uh, what makes me feel uh, better and gives me enough energy to function. I try to stay away from pre-workouts because uh, the water retention and all that, I'd rather uh, just a little bit of uh, like flavored water or even just a little bit of lime and water and I'm, I'm good to go. So that's the reality. I think that the biggest challenge obviously for a lot of us was lockdown and not being able to be out to see people, to go to the gym. I didn't go to the gym for probably almost seven months. So the, the threat for first workout is always scary, uh, but I'm, I'm very happy that I've been consistently working out since then on a daily basis with my one, one rest day but I keep moving constantly and I, I think that that's, that's the key to getting anywhere. So coming weeks, um, I will be sharing some great workout videos, some of what I do at home and some of what I do at the gym, uh, some videos on entertaining walks with the fuzzy children uh, who will be, I say this, London will be the buffest pug slash whatever else he is mixed with um, ever. And I'll be also uh, hopefully updating things more on my travel page, Let's Get Lost, so my other profile, which you're welcome to go take a look at, uh, as well as uh, opening a Instagram page that goes with Let's Get Lost uh, to share some great vacation locations in the event that you are planning your next trip, hoping that we can all get back to normal very, very soon. So I'm going to stop talking and not exhaust all of you. I hope you enjoy this random background. I'm going to add to it as we go. Yes, I strategically placed all of these weights here because they look prettier that way. I guess. I don't know. There's far too much dust on that kettlebell. Um, and I have a, one of my friends, if he's watching, yes, this was your kettlebell. So for me, Corey, at Fat and Funny, I hope you are staying safe and you are happy. And I want to remind you that no matter how hard it is right now, it will get better. We are going to make it through this insanity. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel where we will eventually go to back to a world that will not involve COVID, hopefully, sometime soon. So for me and London, who is now walking around, have a great day. Stay safe. And are you going to come say goodbye? London wanted to say goodbye. So London says goodbye and something else in dog. So have a good one. Talk soon. Good? Good boy. Thank you.